in this video, we will see how we can take backup and restore our QDB managed database using Stash. So let's install Stash first. To install Stash, you need to run this simple Helm command. You can find it on the official documentation of Stash, that is stash.run. So let's apply it. So our Stash operator will be installed. You can see that our Stash operator is running. For taking backup, we need two things. That is the backup configuration and the repository we want to uh, we want to store our data. Just manage this to custom resource. In the metadata section of the backup configuration, we are telling that uh, we are, there's the name of the backup and the namespace. And the schedule, we are telling that if each and every five minutes, it will take a trigger a backup. And in the repository, we are may, we are referring to this GCS repo that the repository will be creating. And in the target section, we are referring to a app binding. Uh, it's just connect with the target database using this app binding. And in the retain policy, we're telling the killing stash to keep the last five backup. And in the repository, we are we are naming it as a GCS repo, it's in the demo namespace. And in the backend, we are uh, referring to a Google Cloud storage that bucket name is MySQL Backup Test Zero. And in the prefix, uh, we are telling that our data will be stored in this path. And in the for connecting to the GCS repo, we are referring to a secret that is GCS secret. We will see all of this. Uh, first of all, we want to take our backup in this repository. Uh, this is in my uh, GCS storage, uh, that is my spell backup test zero, and there is nothing in it right now. So for taking backup, we need to first create the secret of the GCS repo. I have already created it. Now you can get it. So this is my GCS secret. So I want to create the repository right now. So I can see that our repository is created. Let's believe that, that. So we can see that our repository is created. Let's watch it there. Now, now we'll be applying our backup configuration. So each every five minutes, it will trigger a backup. But for the demo, I want to create a. Uh, I want to trigger it manually. We can apply a backup session for that. So in the, we can see that our, one of the backup session is running right now. So let's validate what data we have already inside the MySQL database. So you can see that our old hello database there. And to validate our data. So I can see the my guest table is here. Let's select all from this.
So we can see that I have four data in it. And our previously created new DB also there. So I can see that the backup is succeeded and another backup is running. So I want to patch it. Uh, I want to pause it for now. Uh, let's pause this. We can patch it. Um, that will tell Stash to not trigger any more backup. Uh, because when we want to restore the database, we want to uh, restore from the latest backup that has been taken. So I can see that my both of the backup has been succeeded. Let's check that. So I can see that the prefix has been created and the data is there. So this is the configuration related to stash. And this, these are the snapshot taken during the backup. So this was for taking a MySQL cluster backup using stash. This is so easy. And uh, for now, we want to you know, restore our database. Let's say we lost our database. Uh, we can, yeah, let's go to the restore YAML first. Uh, for restoring a database, what you need to do is, uh, you need to apply a CRD, that is restore session, that's main, managed by the stash. Uh, in the metadata section, you are just naming it, and in the uh, repository uh, to, which repository you want to restore? Uh, that is the GCS repo we have we have taken the backup on, and in the target we are giving the reference of the app binding. That is the app binding name is MySQL. Uh, that means the um, the previously the instance we have been created for this. So let's get the app binding. So we can see that we have the app binding for MySQL, the instance we have created. So we want to back up on this. Uh, let's drop the databases. Let's check which one is primary first. Uh, I can see that the second, um, the MySQL 2 instance is the primary. For MySQL group application of is single primary you can has the you have the read and write access in the primary instance only so we want to drop database and we Want another database that is on UDB data is also being blocked. So we can see that there are four data uh, default databases that are provision. So let's take in the other instances too. So we can see that the database has been also blocked from the other instance also. So let's apply the restore ML. So what we are trying to do is we are taking taking the restore from the GCS repo we have taken the backup on and 
in the target section, we are referring to this MySQL database uh, via this app binding. So let's apply the restore. So you can see our restore has been created. So on the running state, a job will be created for the restore. So let's wait for it to complete. So the restore has been succeeded. Let's validate it. So we can see that our two database that we have been dropped previously has been successfully restored. Let's validate our data also. So we can see that our data has been successfully restored. Uh, that's, that was all from my side today uh, for backing and backup and restore using test.